If your child likes baseball, batting average is a good thing to teach them about because it contains a lot of important math lessons. Here's a reminder of how it works. This is a slightly simplified formula for batting average. On the top of the fraction is the number of hits, and on the bottom it's the number of plate appearances minus any walks and any sacrifice flies. Time for an example. Let's look back at the amazing performance of David Ortiz in the 2013 World Series. He had 25 plate appearances, 8 walks, 1 sack fly, and a colossal 11 hits. So let's work out the equation. 8 plus 1 equals 9. 25 minus 9 equals 16. Now it's fine to use a calculator. 11 divided by 16 equals 0 0.6875. But baseball averages are always given to three decimal places and we have four, so we have to round it off. The way you do this is you look at the fourth decimal. If it's four or under, then the third decimal stays at seven. But if it's five or over, the third decimal gets rounded up to eight. In this case, because it's five, we round up, leaving us with 0 0.688. Now we don't say batting averages like this, instead we'd say that this is a, an average of 688 or 688. In effect, we multiply all batting averages by a thousand to make them easier to say. What do I mean? Well, to multiply by a thousand, since it has three zeros, you move the decimal point three places to the right. So, 0.688 becomes 688. Now let's compare this to a typical average. Over time, a run-of-the-mill player might average around 270. The great Babe Ruth had a career average of 342. So when you consider that 342 is only a little bit higher than 270, you can see what a totally off-the-charts effort it was by Ortiz to average 688. But this leads us to our final lesson, sample size. It's far easier to have a really high, or indeed a really low average, when we're only talking about a few games. That's because an extra one or two hits makes such a huge difference. Let's imagine that Ortiz only had nine hits and not 11. Nine divided by 16 comes out at an average of 563. Still huge, but a lot less than 688. So Ortiz's 2013 World Series was remarkably good but it's impossible to maintain that average for a whole career, as shown by his career average of 285. So there you have it. That covers off a whole raft of math lessons. Order of operations, subtraction, division, fractions, decimals, rounding, multiplication of decimals, a graph, and even some basic statistical analysis. But the whole time, it was just a fun conversation about baseball. <laughs>